G'day team and welcome back to the Aussie Outdoor Blokes. Harry here. Look, today we've got Steakman joining us to do a bit of cooking. Welcome aboard, Steakman. Hey, Wonderful to, to see you, man. All right, so Steakman's going to look after that. I'm going to take off and do a little bit of stuff with the fire. So leave you with it, Steakman. Right, thank see you, you very you, much, Jamie. Talk to you soon, mate. So what we're going to do today is we're going to cook a, a non-traditional damper in a camp oven. Now, we'll just go through some of the ingredients we, we need. We, we need six magic ingredients for our um, recipe. One's milk, a bit of caster sugar, self-raising flour, salt, baking powder, and the magic ingredient, butter. Okay, so we'll crack into it. Here we go. Like I said, two cups, roughly half a bag to Half a kilo is roughly half a, that's about right on the money. Okay, just a touch of sugar. Probably about two tablespoons. Just with the salt. Probably half a teaspoon. I'm gonna actually throw in some extra baking powder. I know we're using self-raising flour, but one of the tricks that I have learned over the years is we never know how old the self-raising flour is. So when in doubt, always throw in another teaspoon of baking powder just to help you get that rise in case you've got old flour. Okay, we're gonna throw in half a block of butter, which I've had out here sort of softening for the last couple of hours. roughly about 125 grams, which is half a block of, of butter. Okay, now we're just going to mix this together, we're going to work the flour through the butter. As you can see I've got it to the consistency where I'm happy with. And I'm just going to add enough milk to this just to bring it together. Okay. Not too much, because you don't want it to be too, too sloppy. Now the secret with this now is not to over mix it, you know. We just want to bring it together. There's a little bit more milk. Just add bits at a time, you can always add more, you can never take it out. I've got this, like I said, it's been mixed or kneaded with the wooden spoon for probably about you know, 45-50 seconds. Okay, now the, the consistency we're after is it to be wet. Okay, you'd like to be soft and it just wants to stick to your hands. Okay, if it's doing that, it's right. If it's sticking to you, if you cut, you pull your fingers out and you've got dough all over you, that just means one thing, it's too wet. A little bit extra flour will compensate for that. Okay, so we're going to get it in the, into the camp oven. So, a little bit extra flour over the top. Okay, we'll put a little bit of, a little bit of flour on your hands, just so we don't end up with stuff all over us. That's looking fantastic. The important thing is once we get it into, into the, our seasoned uh, camp oven, we've got a little bit of oil we've wiped it with, okay? We want to center it inside. We don't want it touching the sides because we're going to, the way we cook this one is from the outside in. We're actually radiant heat from the outside. Okay, so she's good to go. A Little bit of flour on top if you like. Gives it that sort of damper effect when she comes out. Put the lid on her. And off to the fire we go. Okay, got me trusty shovel here. And what we're going to do now is we only want to cook in the coals, so we're going to move off all this extra timber that's cooking, um, burning over here. We'll move the fire. I don't want any coals underneath, okay? We're trying to get the heat to come from the sides, not from underneath. Okay, there's ground level back here now. This is one of the secrets I always find. Everyone tries to cook from underneath, not with a damp upheaval. All we'll end up with is a, a heap of blackness in that in the camp oven, and it's just not tasty. Although we have eaten it, it's just not tasty. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to put it the camp ovens in. Always try to leave the, the handle up so for easy access, and just push back some of these coals to the side.
20, 20 minutes, half hour, we'll have the perfect damper. We're up to just on 10 minutes. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lift the lid just to double check everything, make sure everything's going along all right. So we'll have a quick little look. We may get some coals in there, but that's okay. It adds to the, the excitement of it all. Hey, look, that looks fantastic. Okay, oh, look at that. We won't leave the lid off too long because it needs to keep that heat back in there. So what it does do tell me is that we need probably a little bit more heat. So we're actually going to now start moving some coals over the top. Okay, just to, to get everything rolling along. Coals off the top. Make sure she's um yeah yeah she's cooked. She's hot and she's beautiful. I right know. There's something we want to show you. Okay, I'll just get this. She's pretty. She's pretty hot. I can tell you. One of the secrets was is not to burn the bottom. Have a look at that. That's because we've had no heat underneath that we've cooked from the outside so we just put him in there how good does that look it even smells sensational so the moment of truth we'll actually just cut him up okay yep she's look at that pulling apart absolutely beautiful so that's what we call the Aussie outdoor blokes damper Righto team, thanks for joining us for another episode of the Aussie Outdoor Blokes. Thanks so much Steak Man for the dare, but how good is that James? Huh? An outstanding effort there. We're going to have a cup here and finish our damper. Remember team, if you like the channel, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you again. This is Harry, Steak Man and James signing off. See you later see you team. Guys. Cool. Alright, turn her off and let's eat. <laughs> Bring mama. Mm.